So now we're going to have a look at uh, the static method called setDate inside of the helper class. Inside of the classes folder, open helper.php, scroll right to the bottom, and after the last method, create a new one, call it public static function set date. We're going to be taking two parameters. First one will be case, null by default, date as a second one, and null by default as well. Okay, first thing, we're going to create a date. So if our parameter isn't empty, then simply, sorry, if it's empty, then we will assign current date and time by simply using time uh, function. Otherwise, we are going to convert the date to time string to time. And we pass date as parameter. So now that we have date value assigned to the date variable, we can start with our switch statement. So switch, and we take case as the parameter, case one, and then we have break. Uh, within case one, we return a date in a format day forward slash uh, month forward slash year, and we will passing we will pass our date as a second parameter. Now, because we're building a date, uh, we, we are looking at the date formatting. If we now open our browser, uh, go to Google and type PHP date, the first link you're gonna get is php.net and it's a manual for date. So basically you have all these representations here. Now we've used lowercase d, which is going to give us from 01 to 31st representation of the date. Uh, of the day, then we have we've used uh, lowercase m, which will simply be again from zero one to twelve because we have twelve months, and the capital uh, y, which will give us the full year. So that's the first, the first case. Then if we copy the case one, and we create a case two right underneath. The second one I want to create will be lowercase l, comma j s then capital f then capital y comma h colon i colon s now let's have a look at uh, what this will do lowercase l first so if we look at our uh, date manual lowercase case l lowercase l will give us sunday saturday which means basically it's going to give us a full name of the day of the weekday then the next one was J, lowercase j and capital S. So if we look at the lowercase j, which gives us 1 to 31, so representation of the day. Uh, so we have, and capital S give us S, T, N, D, R, D, O, T, H. So 31st, for instance, and so on. So this is going to be a date representation, day representation. Then we have F, capital F, capital F gives us uh, full name of the month. Then we have capital Y, which we've already used here, which is the full uh, representation representation of the year. Then we ha have capital H. Capital H is going to be a little bit lower. There we go. 24 hour format of an hour with leading zeros. So zero, zero through uh, tw 23. Then we have I, which is minutes with leading zeros and S, which is seconds with leading zeros. So that's basically what it's going to look. In other words, what it's going to look like is going to be um, Monday, for instance, uh, 1st January 2010, um, say 09, sorry, 30, 56, something like this. So that's that's what the form this format's going to uh, output. Now, this one obviously will be day, which let's say it's going to be 01, 01, 2010. Now we're going to create uh, another case. So if we copy case two and we create case three, this one will be represented in a way uh, 2010 hyphen month, let's say uh, 01 and a day 01 
then we have hyphen uh, time 09 hyphen 30 hyphen 56 so basically all of these values are connected with the hyphens uh, so it's going to be y m d h i s and a default one default case which will simply return date in a format y m d h i s which is a default date uh, a date and time format for the mysql database and then we obviously pass the date value as well so this is our set date method inside of a helper fun, uh, helper class now if we close the save the, and close the file in the next video we'll go to have a look at add user method inside of the user class